amigo. Talking to me crazy. Been having that. Yo, what's goody, 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 SOS crew? It's your boy, it's your man, Marquis Pagan with Landshark Chronicles with a, another video, man, on this windy day. I don't know if y'all can see the trees, man, but it's real windy out here, but it's 70, almost 80 degrees, so who cares about the wind, baby? Decided to get on this bike, ride it to the gym, man. So, yo, come along with me. Today, we're just gonna do some riding and talking, let y'all know something else about your boy that y'all might have not knew, man. But other than that, let's get on this bike, say this prayer, and y'all already know what it is. Let's get it. I holla. All right, y'all, man, let's get this prayer on. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for another beautiful day to ride this motorcycle, dear God. Dear God, I pray you allow me to use my knowledge and skills to ride this motorcycle safely. Dear God, I pray that every vehicle will hear me and see me coming up on them, as well as I will hear and see every vehicle coming up on me, dear God. Dear God, I pray that you give me traveling grace. Keep your angel protection around me, and let me make it back to and from all my destinations the same way that we left. I'm asking all these things in your son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, yeah, sir, y'all, let's get it. You already know. Stay tuned. Your boy got something to say. Peace out. Yo, so what's goody, 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 man? Your boy is back. And the topic of discussion today is why did Land Shark start bodybuilding? Somebody hit me up on the channel, man, and was like, talk about why you started bodybuilding. So here we go, man. I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit why your boy decided to start being a bodybuilder. So, to start off the story, I never really knew what bodybuilding was like that. Like, I've always was into working out, but it's more for sports because I play football, track, basketball, all that good stuff. So, I've always been in the gym. I just wasn't really familiar with the whole bodybuilding world or scene like that. So, one day, my brother-in-law was like, hey, he was going to a bodybuilding show, and would I like to go with him? I'm like, cool, I ain't never been to one. This should be interesting so you know we go to the bodybuilding show we watch it i liked it i ain't gonna lie i'm like okay you're pretty cool man the dude's physique look good this is a different experience and if y'all know anything about your boy i'm a cocky little dude i believe i can do anything i put my mind to or just i just believe i can just do anything man i've always been like that since i was a kid so i left the show man i looked at my brother-in-law i'm like man i can do that He's like, what? I'm like, bruh, I can do that. He's like, bodybuilding? I'm like, yeah. So mind you, this was in March of 2016. By June of 2016, I was already competing in my first bodybuilding show. I ain't have no coach, no nothing, man. I was learning everything I needed to learn off of YouTube. So I'm trying out these diets, doing all this, getting ready for this show. I think I'm looking great. Do my first show, I think I got like second second out of like three people the show was very small i'm not even gonna hold y'all so you know i'm doing that did my first show fell in love with it because i love attention so just being up on that stage and people cheering for you my wife every day face cheering for me it was just a great feeling it was giving me that high that i love like all eyes on me like in so many words i'm an attention seeker in a look in a little bit i ain't even gonna lie to you that's why i think bodybuilding was actually made for me but anywho, I do my first show, get like second, you know, thought I looked great. But further in the story, we're going to come back to this first show. So remember that. So after the first show, funny story is the person who ran the show was my wife's cousin. So I got in close with him and he was like, hey, do you got a coach? I'm like, no, I don't have a coach or whatever. So he was like, all right, I'm going to coach you for your next show. So I started letting him coach me. You know, that's when I started getting in the gym, actually learning what bodybuilding was, actually learning how to work out as a bodybuilder and not just work out as a weightlifter. Because y'all, there is a difference between weightlifting and bodybuilding. People don't understand it, but it is. Like bodybuilding isn't always about how much you can lift. Are we strong? Yes. Do you gotta be strong enough? Yes, but it's not all about how much you lift. And I learned that very fast. So I started letting him coach me. Needless to say, it was different. Man, I was 
sore as heck. I was like, what the hell did this dude got me doing? Like, I was doing workouts and things that I had never done in the gym. I started working on muscles I have never even heard of. Like, going my lats and different parts of the rear delts and lower back. And I was like, yo, what is this? I'm used to coming in here doing some bench press, some clean press and something like that. Everything for power. But now that I'm doing things to stroke my body and hit body parts that I never knew existed, like your lats, so you can get that wide back. That's why if you notice in bodybuilding, the guys have a wide back, we call it an X back, because the shoulders and lats is wide, waist is small, quads are big. And if you look at most sports players, they don't have lats. Their back is straight, it's straight up and down, it has no width to it. They strong as hell, they look good, they don't have big shoulders, they don't have big lats, why? Because they're doing stuff for speed and strength. Bodybuilding, we're doing stuff for a look. So, I let him coach me. We did the second show with maybe like six or seven months after that. I get second place again. I'm like, dang, I can't seem to, you know, get above second place. But I'm loving the sport. Like I'm telling you, I'm loving it. Because when I tell you the transformation that I was seeing, I had never seen my body look like that before. I'm seeing abs and things that I never seen on me before. And I got hooked. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I really got hooked. So, I let him coach me again for my third show. I ended up doing a national show down in Florida. I get prepped for that, go down there, get second place in that show as well. But then I'm starting here like, okay, I'm starting watching more videos and doing things like that. So I found out about the NPC. The NPC is where the big dogs go. So I'm like, man, I want to go into the next level. I want to go to the NPC because they shows are bigger and all that so I find another coach at my gym he coaches me for my first NPC show here in Duluth Georgia which was cool once again I got second place follow my drift I ain't got first place yet in none of these shows but I'm gonna keep going because I know this is a marathon not a sprint I'm just getting started so this coach he was all right he took my physique to a whole nother level so much to where when I look back at my other shows I'm like yo I look like shit I thought I was looking good but I wasn't looking like nothing me and my wife still laugh at my very first couple shows like yo you up there cheering for me looking like that she's like I know right I'm like man this is crazy so I let my coach do that but needless to say he wasn't the best coach in the world I'm not gonna say his name on here he was cool but he never worked out with me, he was local. He didn't come to my show. And it was just crazy, I'm like, you really just taking my money, like, you're not even supporting me like that. Like, how you local and don't go to my show? Like, I'm at the show, everybody there with their team, they coaches, and I'm sitting here solo dolo, FaceTime with my coach, and he right here in the same freaking city. I'm like, yo, that ain't cool, man. So, the guy I lose to, I'm like, yo, what's your coach's name? He like, yo, his name Bobby Farley, they call him the GOAT. And their team was called Team Beast Back. So I hit up Bobby on Instagram right behind backstage at the show, like, yo, are you accepting some new clients? He like, yeah, come holla at me. Boom. Show over, get my little medal. Next couple days, I'm up to hit gym. Yo, what's good? I, I saw your athlete, the other athlete there. I'm liking y'all vibe. Y'all had the matching jumpsuits on. And you already know how I am with the feet checks. Man, they was fresh. They had their fits on, they had the shoes on, they were looking clean. I'm sitting there with nothing, just some regular ass sweats on, no team. So I'm like, yo, I'm liking the vibes or whatever. He talked to me, let me know what he expect. I let him know what I expect. Yo, we link up, wow. He started training me. In eight weeks, we did a show. Eight weeks. Man, in those eight weeks, he transformed my body to really look like a real bodybuilder. I'm like, yo, oh, he owned something. I ain't going nowhere. So we did that show, which was Lee Haney's show, which was in Sandy Springs, Georgia. You know, I'm feeling the big dog. I'm feeling good, looking good. I'm like, yo, confidence on the honey. I think in that show, I think I got third or fourth, something like that. But there was some heavy hitters at that show, so I wasn't mad. You know, you win some, you lose some. You just ask the judge what you can improve when you come back. So yeah, make a long story short, I joined, I joined Team Beast Factory, been there ever since. So if you see my stuff and y'all see the Dream Killers and Team Beast Factory, 
that's what it is, man. That's the squad. That's the team. Y'all have probably seen it in some of my Instagram posts if y'all on there. So, under my new coach, you know, at this point, he's starting to school me on the game, like, which is one of the things I liked about him because he's telling me the game. He's teaching me the bodybuilding game, teaching me about dieting and why I'm eating certain things, what certain things to eat and what not to eat, how much of it to eat. So now I'm like, yo, I'm really falling in love with the sport because now I'm actually learning what it takes to not even just compete, but he's grooming me to be a trainer, which I'm going to be doing here soon in June. Stay tuned. Pump at his 419. Shame this plug. But um, that's another thing I liked about him. Like, he run his own business, got his own gym, and he don't hold no secrets, man. He's sitting there, and he put me on game, you know, and I can't do nothing but respect that. So I learned a lot about, like I said, just the dieting, working out, different parts of the body, how the body parts work, you know, about body work, things that you got to do to stay moving good, you know, cupping, grafting, all that good stuff that comes with bodybuilding because if y'all don't know, it's a lot more to come with bodybuilding than just working out. Most of it is dieting. The working out is easy, but if you're not eating right, you're still going to look like shit because you cannot outwork a bad diet, y'all. So please stop it. If you're going to have a bad diet, just do cardio and make sure your cardio vascular look good because you're never going to look good no matter how much you try, no matter how much you say it. If you're not eating right, you can forget about it. You can forget about it. So yeah, man, we start doing that, you know, and make a long story short, man, I've been rocking with him ever since, man. We done did a few national shows, then um, placed top five. Back in December, as y'all saw, I finally got a first place win in men's physique. I got first and second that show, so you know, I was on the high from that, but the next week got dusted off. That's a whole nother story. But now I'm getting ready for a show in June, which is the Junior Nationals, which is another pro qualifier. So, you know, I'm not giving up on getting my pro card. We about to go do that show in June, June 21st. I will be vlogging that whole video, man. But so much in a nutshell, man, that's just what got Lance Shark to becoming a bodybuilder, man. Just the simple fact that I believe I can do anything and just did it and end up falling in love with it and been doing it ever since to the point where now I'm going to be going into the fitness industry and training this summer once I take this early retirement for my full-time job. So it's kind of crazy how life works because, like I said, I've always been in the fitness, always, always cared about how I look, but just never really knew the bodybuilding side of it until I started competing. And I learned a lot, and that's it, man. But hope that didn't bore y'all too much. If y'all have any more questions about it, something that I may not have touched up on in the video, just let me know, because I know that was kind of a quick synopsis, but I was just trying to not talk y'all ear off too much about why I got started. I wish it was a better interesting story about why I did, but that's it. But I'm about to get this gas, man. We're about to get some water. Then we're going to head to the gym. Y'all already know I'm going to show y'all a little bit of the gym workout. And then we're just going to head home and chill out because y'all know the work week starts tomorrow, man. But, yo, y'all already know what it is. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, let's go up here. I need to get me a water. Y'all know I'm going to give me some gum. And I like to chew gum when I'm working out because that's how I chip this front tooth. You see? That's how I chip my front tooth. Right off. Thank you, thank you. That's how I chip my front tooth, working out and grinding my teeth and bro. So now I keep me some gum while I'm working out, but you gonna get a little bit of water. Get some uh, bubble yum, I think that's what it's called. Bubble, bubble something. I don't know, but that's about it. Then we gonna get up out of here, man. So let me get this. And the next time y'all see me, we'll be at the gym. Yes, I heard. So yo, y'all, as I can see, we are in the gym, baby. I'm about to feel these shoulders. You already know I'm gonna give y'all a beat leap of this workout, baby, so it ain't too long. And then I'll highlight y'all when the workout is over and get back on that bike. Let's go.
with y'all. So we done with the workout. Y'all look at the clouds. Man, it rained out here. So I was I was stalling. You can see Jaws kind of wet. Let me see. Put it on here. I'll put it on the bike. You can see Jaws is wet right here, man. Yo, I was out here stalling because I didn't want to get caught in the rain. But we about to leave here, go to Chipotle. Fingers crossed that it don't rain again because it said it wasn't supposed to rain. I don't know where this rain came from, but... Other than that, I'll holler at y'all once we get on this bike and get to Chipotle. Let's go. about me man chipotle is one of my favorite pre-workout all right y'all so we up here at chipotle man and now i am racing against the rain it looked like it might rain again i've got a few drops but if it do oh well man it just look like i'm gonna be getting wet today but let's get up in here get these chicken bowls man and get up out of here it is always a long line in here man always uh, yep Y'all see, got the Chipotle, the Chipotle, baby, yes, sir. And there go Jaws over there, man. But look at this guy. It's crazy. Look at them wind blowing. Look at the trees. Oh, boy. Let me hurry up and get home, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, never switch on the homies in the day ones They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum And come in, come in, come in, come in Keep it in, come in, come in, come in Come in, keep it in, come in switch on the niggas that I came up with eh. No new friends with the same old click eh. Couple old homies went and stabbed me in the back But it's no love lost, I'll probably bless him with some stacks That direct deposit lovely Went from shaking Kool-Aid packets to popping bubbly Went from asking women for hugs and now they hugging me Ain't life lovely, do it so good, make a hater wanna love. fuck with Never me Never switch on the homies in the day ones They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some Take a bow on all right, y'all. Got to run into this dollar store real quick. Excuse me, excuse me. Over there, they needed me to get some, some coffee, so got to find some meat cafe coffee on pops. Get me a drink and some chips, and then we're going to get up out of here, man. So that's what we're doing. As y'all see, man, you never know what you're going to get when I get on camera, man. Might get a dollar store run. You know you're going to see Chipotle see the gym and who else knows what you might see just never know man that's why you got to stay tuned in because you don't want to miss out and they got it yes sir man they only got a big pack though boom big cafes fifteen dollars for this though they ain't got a smaller big cafes they do but it's the breakfast man it's a quill i might have to get her the breakfast man I don't want to spend no fifteen dollars. I don't want to see it. Yeah, we're gonna get the breakfast blend. All right, y'all. Let's get my drink and we're gonna get up out of here. I holla.
So what's good, y'all? As y'all can see, man, your boy made it back home safe. And guess what? I ain't even get rained on. Yes, sir, man. Y'all know I stay so fresh. Even if it rained, I wouldn't get wet anyways, man. But y'all can kind of see the fit a little bit. Got the jeans, Timberlands on with the nice Harley vest, man. But other than that, man, I hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all like the conversations that I'm starting to give y'all on the camera, man. I need to think of a next topic or what I'm going to talk about next. Who knows what it may be, man. It might be about my favorite food. It might be, who knows, man. But, yo, other than that, thank y'all for watching. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about your boy channel, man. Yo, let's run these subscribers up. Like I said, we trying to get the 3K by June. I ain't forget, man, 3K by June. So, yo, go run and tell somebody, man. But other than that, I'm about to get up off of here, eat, see every day favorite before she go to work, and y'all already know what to do, man. Say my slogan along with me. Yes, sir. Yo, yo, let's... Get, get, get it. Peace out. I holler. Mm.